Now, our motto determine equivalent distance between that point and that point. So, we have considered that is A and here B. Clear or not? So, how can we determine? First of all, if you see very carefully, suppose that a distance R is given. And this one is a shortest path, like that one. And here, x, and that suppose that here, y terminal. What about r of x, x, y? If in doubt, suppose that this point is 1, and that point is also 1. Why? Because of no resistance between these two. Clear or not? No resistance between these two. That, that point to that point. No resistance connected here. That's why. So, voltage drop between this is x you can say that and this is also x so voltage drop between these two that is zero so zero clear or not so you can say that you can say that v of x y voltage that is zero voltage drop between x y zero if any and one ask what about current in this path so i is written as v of x y divided by r v of x y is 0 so 0 by r that is 0 is 0 current it means no current flow in r resistance if circuit look like that one then what about current current follow always that path not that path okay why because current is 0 it means that that resistance is demi resistance so you can say here if you look here that resistance, same thing here. A is a resistance R. That is 10 ohm. And that terminal and that terminal are same potential. So no current flow from no current flow in 10 ohm resistance. That is dummy resistance. Same thing here, 6 ohm also is a dummy resistance. Okay. Current follow is shortest path. Clear or not? Okay. So these two. 6 ohm and 10 ohm are removed from the circuit okay now look after that we have discussed one by one suppose that that point is x and that point is y okay this is 2 ohm this is 4 ohm and 8 and 8 both are parallel so parallel combination if two resistance that is suppose that here r and here R. If two resistance are same, here X and here Y. So what about R of X Y? It is written as R into R divided by R plus R. So R square by 2R means R by 2. If two resistance are same, then what about equivalent? Always R by 2. Clear? So here we have written as 8 by 2, 8 by 2 means 4 ohm clear or not so combination of these two that is 4 ohm clear or not so first of all this one remove and make make the circuit corresponding to that is 2 ohm 2 ohm this 2 ohm this is 4 ohm 4 ohm and that is 4 ohm that is 4 ohm clear or not here x and here y terminal now that is 2 ohm 2 ohm and 2 ohm are series so first of all make that point is 2 this is 2 ohm so make 2 ohm 2 ohm 2 ohm 2 ohm are series so that is combination of this these three that is 6 ohm and this 6 ohm are parallel to these three resistance so we make here that is 6 ohm clear now here 6 ohm and that 6 ohm are parallel so that is 3 combination of these three these two that is 3 ohm and 3 ohm and these 3 ohm are series so combination of these two we got 6 ohm we got 6 ohm clear or not 
and this is also this 6 ohm is parallel to the combination of these two so that is 6 ohm and this one is 2 ohm so that is 2 ohm okay clear or not clear or not so if you redraw here that is lot get up that is y and that is x this one is y and that is x okay now what about that resistance so we have focused on one by one very carefully that is 5 ohm that is 20 ohm and here 5 ohm and that is 20 ohm okay we have considered that is that point is a that is x and suppose that that is 1 here x and here 1 y1 we have considered y1 y1 okay so how can resolve and this is 10 ohm and that one is 10 ohm okay now look very carefully this is 20 ohm so um, 5 20 5 5 20 5 20 okay now combination of these two 20 and 20 both resistance are same so it is r by 2 means 10 ohm clear clear or not clear or not very simple sorry it is silly mistake here oh silly uh, that is 10 ohm and here 5 here 20 here 20 here 5 and that one is 20 that one is 20 ohm okay and that is 20 ohm and here 5 ohm and this is x and here y1 how can resolve first combination of these two that is 10 ohm 10 ohm 5 ohm and 5 ohm combination of these three we got 20 so here 10 here 20 and here 20 okay here 20 combination of these two that is 10 ohm and after that upper part is 10 ohm and this one is also 10 ohm so combination of x and y1 so we got 5 ohm x and y1 okay so it means after solving after solving this phenomena and we got 5 ohm clear or not so you can do it and i will remove this one and finally and this one also and finally this one also so 5 ohm written here here written 5 ohm that is 5 ohm clear or not now we are focus on that one if you this is y1 so it is also y1 now that is 5 ohm mm, here given 15 ohm okay and that is 15 that is 15 and that is 15 that is 15 ohm and this is also 15 these three are parallel okay here y1 here b clear and that is 5 ohm and here 15 combination of these three these three are parallel upper 5 ohm and these parallel combination that is we got 5 ohm and here y1 and here b so 
combination of these two we got how much 2.5 ohm y1 and b clear that is 2.5 ohm so we got that is 2.5 ohm and that point is b clear or not and that point is a here x and here y that is y are like that one okay so after solving these three now so 2 4 4 that is 10 ohm and combination of these two 3 ohm 3 ohm 3 3 3 6 plus 2 8 plus 2 10 so that is 10 ohm here 5 ohm here a here 2.5 ohm that is b okay combination of these two that is 5 ohm and 5 ohm and this one is also 5 ohm and this one is 2.5 ohm that is a and that is b so combination of these two that is 2.5 so r of a b 2.5 plus 2.5 that is 5 ohm so r of a b is written as 5 ohm is the right answer make it okay if any doubt then comment it i will discuss again